Good evening, this is Flo Smith. I'm chairing tonight's Town of Berlin Select Board meeting. It is a second public hearing that we'll be discussing tonight. And the folks that are with us, there's, to my right is Joe Staub. On the computer with us is C. David Sawyer and Brad Town. We don't have anyone in attendance from the um, community at this time, although that could change as the meeting goes on. So I'll call the meeting to order. And are there any additions or changes to the agenda? No. Any public comment? Hearing none, I'll move forward to open the meeting to the first article, which is the discussion of the local options tax. And Vince, could you read the particulars pertaining I, to this? I, I will. Um, just one comment before I, I read that. I'm going to be reading two statements. Excellent. The one as it originally existed and the report and the proposed revision change as it will appear on the ballot. That is uh, that has been done, completed. Excellent. Okay, so the original reads for article one uh, on page two, addition of paragraphs as follows. Paragraph D, upon resolution of the select board or upon receipt of a petition signed by 5% of the registered voters of the town at an annual or special meeting, warned for that purpose, the voters of the town may vote by a majority of those present in voting to assess any or all of the following. A 1% sales tax, a 1% rooms tax, and a 1% meals and alcohol beverage tax. That is the original statement. The revised statement for that particular paragraph, as it will appear on the ballot, is as follows. Article 1, shall the Borough Lynn Town Charter be hereby amended as follows. Section 3-2, powers of the town, addition of paragraph D, as follows. The Town of Berlin Select Board may assess a 1% sales tax. The Town of Berlin Select Board may assess a 1% rooms tax. The Town of Berlin Select Board may assess a 1% meals and alcohol beverage tax. Any discussion? I still have uh, two paragraphs to read oh, that really? remain unchanged. Unchanged. And will be as of the original, which is paragraph D2. Mm -hmm. A tax imposed under this authority of this section shall be collected and administered by the Department of Taxes in accordance with 24 BSA, section 138, and paragraph D3, revenues received through the imposition of a tax imposed under this section shall be designated for capital projects within the town. That would be it for article one. Very well, very well. Any discussion regarding article one? Hearing no, none, I will ask for a motion to close this article. I make, I make a motion. motion. Dave Sawyer, make a motion to close our, this article as this read. Second. Second. So moved. I now move on to Article 2, elected to appointed clerk. And here we'll also have Vince read through those changes as well. Okay, again, I will do the same for this article as I did in the first one as it will appear on the ballot as well. Excellent. So uh, under ch subchapter four, section 4-2 four elected officers, item two, town clerk, will be the removal of a town clerk for a term of three years. Under subchapter four, section 4-4, four four, appointed officers, section B, addition of item five, town clerk. There's no change. And there's no change. In how that will appear in the ballot. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Vince. Any discussion? Hearing none, I will request a motion to close this article. Uh, Dave okay. Sawyer, make a motion to close this article as read. Thank you, David. Second. So moved. Now moving to Article 3, the addition of personal property inventory taxation waiver. Under subchapter 7, section 7-3, addition of penalty for delinquent installments, we'll be adding the following and personal property inventory taxation. We'll be adding paragraph C, 
when the total assessed value of personnel, property, inventory taxation is equal to or less than $1,650, the town treasurer may, after approval of the select board, waive the personal property inventory taxation. Thank you, Vince. Any discussion? Hearing none, I will request a motion to close this article. I make the motion to close Article 3. Thank you, Joe. I'll second that. I do, Sawyer. Thank you, Dave. So moved. And now we will move on to the roundtable portion of tonight's meeting, and I will start with Joe. Um, I, I have nothing. nothing. Okay. David? I have nothing. Okay, thank you. And Brad, anything you'd like to discuss this evening? Um, <coughs> just, just that when you go, before you close your article, you should have a vote. Okay, very good. <coughs> Sorry about that. No worries. We'll do that now. Now that we've gone through all three articles, can I have a vote of everyone present? All the yays? I vote yay on all articles. And Joe does as well. I voted yay as well. And Brad? Ditto. Very well. So moved. <laughs> Hope you feel better, Brad. Did you have anything else you wanted to add, Brad? No, I, I, I think that was enough. Okay. Again, I hope you feel better. And a motion to adjourn? Uh, Dave Sawyer, make a motion to adjourn. Second. I second. So moved. Thank you all for being present this evening. Oh, good evening. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome to come in. You just adjourned. So you had a few people. We did. We had um, the Times Argus was here, and Orca recorded everything. Yeah. And if you'd like a copy, we have a copy of the language and the changes. Oh, that's the excellent. Changes Most are everything the changes was similar to last no. week, but changes. all of the you have the changes have, in there. Yes. That would be wonderful. So Vince like can it. make you a copy. Oh, okay. And that way you can have everything to yeah. review. Yeah. Sure. Um, yes. Um, Glad you came. Yeah. It's just Sorry not, that the timing wasn't. Oh, the, we know we're a little late, but it's all right. just not enough hours in the day. Understandable. Very much so. And it gets dark too quick already. Yes, it does. And only to get darker sooner. I it's know. unbelievable. Yeah. There also was an article, if you didn't see it yesterday. Yeah. I just saw it tonight. Okay. I was so busy yesterday. Yeah. But I, it was I very was, informative. I was very dismayed. It was bright. Um, because I, I'll tell you what, I've been afraid that it, it will be misinterpreted because eliminate the long elected, uh, thank you, Walk. thank you, thank you, office of town clerk. Oh. So now I when know you what they're say saying. that, yes, and it sounds like we have an empty office. That's right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. where you're going. And you yeah, I didn't see that, so I'm glad you pointed that out charter changes that eliminate the long elected office of town clerk. You're not eliminating the office. Right. We're You're changing it from elected to appointed. Eliminating mm -hmm. the election. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it should be pointed out to David that... Um, He'll call me tomorrow. He calls me every day after well, the meeting and I'll, I can mention that It's to him. definitely a good point and yeah. Vince will follow up on I'm that. I'm happy to chat with him about it. Of course, what I think might, it can go either way. On the one hand, some people are going to say that and say, well, forget this. I'm not going to have anything more to do with the town. You know, they're doing their own thing anyway. Other people may say, wait a minute, I don't want to eliminate the town clerk. And they, that might spur some more interest. Which way will it go? I don't know. <laughs> so. Also, you didn't add the words commercial. Did you? Oh, yes. That was the other thing. When it taught, you remember, um, we yes. had. I that question about um, personal I, I, property and inventory. And I have, the, I have the definition for that. It is on a form that the businesses have to fill out. I will uh, can actually give you a copy of that. That would be great. The, because but you didn't make that change. In the, in the area. That's a full definition. Yeah. Right, so. right. You know, if you read the warning, then it says relates to section seven, you know, 
statute seven, whatever, which is more telling <laughs> Look up than section this. Seven, you know that. <laughs> you know, are people going to say, "Well, I don't pay personal property tax"? Or are they going to say, oh, "Is that going to have effect with my my property tax? That's my right. personal property." Right. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, this this makes it clear it's for business. Yeah. When Vince read it tonight, it was so much more descriptive. Sure. It was helpful. So this is what applies to that that change right there, and here's the different definition. Business, a, personal property. So, yep. and it even tells you goes into detail of what that is and what's not included as well. So I haven't read this new wording yet, but I hope that when it comes to the warning on the ballot, that it says business, personal. Let me double check that. I think it, I think it does on the ballot. I'll be perfectly honest with you about the town clerk's election. I'm a bit it, it does not say that on the ballot. At this yeah. point, so, we are perfectly so we happy with uh, this select board. Maybe in and the uh, notice. We're perfectly happy with them to make decisions like that. But in the I mean, past, the we've had select is, boards. Many, many but people I don't know as I would say, have. Oh, 1,650. And, you know, this is uh, yeah. not yeah. just every year, it's forever yeah. from now on. But that, that is what and it's referring that's, to. Yes. My only concern. That's good. Thank you. And I appreciate that. And there's a very good That's why it's so important. You know, glad it doesn't include as well. came last week. That's important too. All of that information and advice and, you know, different perspectives, very beneficial. So that's helpful. I'm so sorry that people didn't show up. You know? Well, I'm glad you guys did it. Gave me something to do with these. I didn't do it for nothing. Absolutely. And you got good advice, and Vince will follow up with. With Dave Delcourt tomorrow for well, sure. Dave will probably call Vince we'll, first. Oh yeah, we'll call him right now. Yeah, we can do that too. Yes, yes. You won't talk to himself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, David does a good job. Right? He don't, surely don't does. Don't mean to dispute. I that, thought but... this article as a whole was well done in terms of being specific, but I didn't catch what you pointed out. Oh, I want to circle yeah. it just so Very I know. I say it when I talk to him. I think it's different when we know in our head and we well, read that it. Is the problem. We know what yes. it means. You wrote it. And if somebody doesn't, right. they, they read it and they'll interpret it very differently. Eliminate the long elected. Someone once said to me, when you, you write anything, you should set election. it aside. Correct. For a day, well, Yeah, but two you days. can't proof your own work. It's very it, it's, difficult. It's, 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 so you give it to someone else to read. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or the rest of the public. Yeah, Particularly absolutely. And that's, and that's what you see. That's Especially right. stuff like regs, when you know the regs, and other, you know, the John Q. Public does it. Right, right. How do they interpret it? He goes into it a little more detail later on, but he does, it's still... But it's still... You know, it's it out. Because if somebody they, stops reading here, yeah, yeah. they're going to walk away yeah. thinking, what the heck are they doing? Yeah. Yeah. And people yeah. do. Yeah. They read, then they get interrupted, and they don't yeah. get back yeah. to it. Yeah. Or they get in the snit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. By the way, Vince, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> We're, he's a very long time resident. He lived here all, almost all your life. Yep. So. Yeah. Well, I grew up here, so you probably knew my mother. <laughs> she lived over on Chandler Road for a hundred years. <laughs> Viola. Oh, maybe. She was on the ladies auxiliary in the fire department. Mm -hmm. Beautiful name. Yeah. yeah. I was on the fire department when it first started. Yeah, well, she was on the ladies' auxiliary almost from the beginning. So. Yeah. She ran all the bingo when it was over in Riverton. No. Oh. She did all that. Probably started to just take stock car engines out of his car and put them in the fire truck. Oh. Because he used flathead Ford, Ford engines in it. Oh, gosh. Yeah. He was quite a character. Yeah, he was quite a character. I enjoyed him as a neighbor. What? What's the name? Oh, this is Frank Meir, Meir. and yeah. I'm Louise Meir. M-I-E-R. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, all right.